find the intervals in which the following functions are strictly increasing or decreasing so given the function x plus 1 whole square into x minus 3 whole power 3 so let us consider f of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square into x minus 3 whole power 3 and to find out the intervals where this function is increasing or decreasing so we will consider f dash of x is equal to 0 because at the point where x for f dash of x is equal to 0 so the curve will changes its position from increasing or positive or negative so we can decide it so so let's differentiate this so f dash of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square into x minus 3 whole power 3 by using uv rule x plus 1 whole square into differentiation of x minus 3 whole power 3 we can write 3 times of x minus 3 whole square into again differentiation of x minus 3 is 1 plus again x minus 3 whole power 3 into differentiating x minus 3 x plus 1 whole square so that is 2 times of x plus 1 whole to the power of 2 minus 1 1 into again differentiation of x plus 1 is 1 so i can write here f dash of x is equal to so x plus 1 i can take out common and x minus 3 whole square i can take it out common so that i can write here 3 times of x plus 1 and again here min plus x minus 3 plus 2 times of x minus 3 so that x plus 1 into x minus 3 whole square into 3x plus 2x this is 5x and here it comes as a 3 minus 6 3 minus 6 is minus 3 so we got f dash of x now let us consider f dash of x is equal to 0 to find the value of x for which f dash of x is equal to 0 so that x plus 1 whole square into x minus 3 whole square into 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 so which implies that x plus 1 equals to 0 or x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 3 or we can write x is equal to 3 upon 5 so these three values of x will decide will divide the interval into will divide the real line now the three values of x here will divide the real line into four parts in which where we can decide the function is increasing or decreasing so let's take minus infinity to plus infinity is our number line and let's consider minus 1 and 3 upon 5 writing in order and then 3 and now by just using your wavy curve method so the power of first point at x is equal to 3 that is x minus 3 whole square and start taking the curve from the right side at the rightmost point 3 so the from the positive side then at x is equal to 3 since the power of x minus 3 is even so we can just it remains in the same curve that is positive only and again at x is equal to 3 upon 5 since the power is odd odd power so it changes from positive to negative and again at x is equal to minus 1 that is x plus 1 since we have the odd power so it changes from negative to positive so this wavy curve method is explained and uh, the description in description box the link is given please check that video so you will get good idea about it so by using wavy curve method we can just confirm now your function f is increasing in the interval minus infinity to minus 1 and again in the interval 3 upon 5 to 3 upon 5 to 3 also it is increasing and again 3 to infinity also it's increasing so in this three intervals the function is increasing and in the interval minus 1 to 3 by 5 the given function is decreasing we can just confirm by wavy curve method or in general or in generally we can consider by taking any one particular value in the intervals so let me consider since we know f dash of x is equal to let me show you f dash of x is equal to 
x plus 1 into x minus 3 whole square into 5x minus 3 whole to the power 1. So by taking one one point in the interval, let me take the interval negative infinity to negative 1. Take any one value, say minus 2. So f dash of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 into minus 2 minus 3 negative 5 whole square is 25 into 5 into minus 2 minus 10 minus 3 minus 13. So negative into negative it is positive. So we can say in this interval f dash x is positive. And again now in the interval minus 1 to 3 upon 5. minus 1 to 3 upon 5 let us consider any one value so very simple value you can consider 0 so f dash of 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 1 0 minus 3 whole square it's a 9 and 5 into 0 minus 3 it's a negative 3 so we are getting negative value so which implies you are getting f dash of x is negative so in the interval it is decreasing and next 3 upon 5 to 3 so in the interval 3 upon 5 to 3 so 3 upon 5 is less than 1 and 3 so if i can take one value as 2 so let me consider f dash of 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 into and 2 minus 3 is negative 1 whole square it comes plus 1 and again 5 twos are 10 10 minus 3 is 7 so which is positive so whereby we can consider f dash of x is positive in this region and now in the last interval 3 to infinity also we can just confirm 3 to infinity so take any one value let me take f dash of 4 so which equals to 4 plus 1 is 5 and 5 minus 3 sorry 4 minus 3 is 1 whole square is 1 again 5 was a 20 minus 3 that's a 17 so which is positive value so here also we can say f dash of x is greater than 0 so finally we can give conclusion that in the intervals like minus infinity to minus 1 and again minus 3 upon 5 to 3 and 3 to infinity the function is increasing and in the interval negative 1 to 3 upon 5 it is decreasing. So we can give conclusion that f is, f is increasing in the interval minus infinity to minus 1 union 3 upon 5 to 3 union 3 to infinity and similarly f is decreasing the given function is decreasing in the interval minus 1 to 3 upon 5 okay thank you